Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explain about different factors which will be affecting onto the hardness. So, if you want to learn this hardening process for getting a better hardness into the microstructure, so you will find a link in my description box. So, let us see the factor one. First one, carbon percentage. If into the steels that will be having a less than 0.3 percentage of carbon. So such kind of carbon percentage it will be present into the steel structure which will be having a difficulties to make a hard structure. Because as per the TTT diagram as shown into the figures. So there will be the one transformation line and it will be second transformation end line. So by reducing the carbon percentage that lines it will be shifts towards the temperature line. So there will be no possibilities to performing the quenching operations and we all know that by the quenching process then and then it will be making a hard structure. So if it will be the less than 0 0.3 three percentage of the carbon it will be present into the steels which will be having a difficulties to make a hard materials or you can say that will be one of the factors it will be affecting onto the hardness then second quenching medium so to performing the hardening operations or you can say quenching operations so that will be the water quench oil quench salt bath kind of quenchings but as from the experimental concern so in the case of the water quenching process that will be having a maximum hardness. So which kind of quenching medium you can use it and that will be depends upon my requirements of the properties. But quenching medium that will be the one of the factors that will be affecting onto the hardness. Temperature of the quenching medium. So basically as from the weight percentage of the carbon is being present into the steels for hypoeutectoid and hypoeutectoid steels then after it will be heated into the oscillating temperature range then after the temperature of the quenching mediums so what happens the behavior of the various quenching mediums differs at the higher temperatures so that will be having uh, some different kind of hardness is being present into the structure so there will be the third factor as a temperature of the quenching medium then important factors and it will be the homogeneity of the austenite so generally for making a hard structure into the steels or you can say for performing any heat treatment process heated your material into the austeniting temperature range so at that austeniting temperature range if it will be having a good homogeneity so basically at higher the homogeneity of the austenites so that will be the more is into the uniformity and into the hardness of to the steels so you will get the better microstructure at the room temperatures by the quenching process to becoming a good hardness into the steel structures then after the circulations provided in a quenching tank so proper heat removal of the oils within the quenching tank to be circulated properly so this is also very effective in increasing the quenching rate and finally the hardness of the steels. Six number and that will be the surface conditions. So if there is any scalings or you can say oil, grease etc. So prevent and surface then also the quenching process is not effectively. So into the heat removal from the different places will be different and hardness will be different or it will be not uniform. So there will be the one of the factors that will be affecting into the uniform hardness into the steels and that will be the surface conditions. The next size and mass. Since the surface is only in contact with the quenching medium, hence the ratio of the size to mass is very important in determinations of the actual cooling rates. So this is also important factors that will be affecting onto the hardness. And last one, alloying elements into the steels. So except the cobalt, all alloying elements shift TTT curves towards the right side. So just you can see into the TTT diagrams, you can add anything into this kind of steel structure. So these lines, it will be shifted towards the right sides. So the result is the critical cooling rates to form the martensites to reduce and sometimes only by the air cooling 
Martin Saints can be produced. So these eight are the major factors which will be affecting onto the hardness into the steels. So I hope you understand this. If you like this, then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.